Well, this thing is just beautiful. It is a uh, natural hot spring, like, uh, I'll try to get this in here. Natural hot spring like they have in uh, Yellowstone. And it's just a real. But, uh, wow, Father, this thing's incredible. Are you kidding me? Now, it says Pinkerton on the uh, sign, which is interesting because, um, you know, I'm related to Des Jesse James, which is a Baptist. And um, now this now Pinkerton detective is one that tried to uh, shoot and kill Jesse. He was never killed. He died in a, in a hospital, I believe it was New Mexico, at 86 years of age. And they proved it because uh, he told him where treasures were at before he died. No one else would have known other than Jesse. He made a deal. Uh, he could have made a deal with uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, to... Uh, no, sorry. Pekin had to satisfy Washington, so D.C., so he uh, went after Jesse James, and he could never get him because the people protected him because he did steal from the rich and gave the poor, and the locals protected too much. So he made a deal with Jesse. He said, well, fake your death and have your, your best friend, one of your best friends, act like he killed you, and there he did. And Jesse never got shot in the back of the head like these claimed. But anyway, um, a lot of history is lies, but Pinkerton is probably related to uh, the Pinkerton. So I'm not going to judge. It says, it says Judge James Harvey and Anne Liz, Eliza Pinkerton. So he was a judge. Um, so here's some detail on it. I don't want you guys don't have to go through all this, but uh, anyway, um, history, is, history is history. So, you know, a lot of truths aren't known. But anyway, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I just saw a lightning strike from the Father in Heaven. That's awesome, right behind it. Um, anyway, the... I was thinking. Oh, this is really warm water, too. You wouldn't want to drink it, because it probably has arsenic in it. And, uh, or, you know, arsenic and sulfur. Oh, but it is so cool. It's like a, it's really warm. I mean, it's just, and the colors are beautiful. Just gorgeous. I mean, I don't remember growing, growing up into this thing, but uh, I could sit here all day. <laughs> I'm serious. It's so awesome. And uh, anyway, just gorgeous. I'm going to take a little walk around here a little bit. And just enjoy the moment. Yeah. And... I bet the Native Americans probably use this as a, um, as a uh, place for worship or bathing or something else. Because it's just unreal warm, that water. Usually the water's up here like 32 degrees when they come off the snow melt. But we are lowering it off the mountains. But because uh, I took a, I took a, uh, I didn't go in so fast, I took a bath in the water uh, in this little place. Uh, up in the mountains, way back near Silverton, and man, I tell you, it was cold. <laughs> wow, I mean, it was like jumping ice, bucket of ice. So anyway, I'm gonna guys, thank you, Father, and thank you, Lord. Uh, you're the best, and thank you for blessing this day. Oh, somebody has a little tub there for something. That's weird, but thank you. This is a beautiful area. Gosh, just unreal. And it's like a little slide. You could actually probably slide on that stuff because uh, it's really smooth like um, cement. Really neat stuff. It looks like it has different flows even. So this is like Yellowstone uh, right here in the backyard of Colorado. Colorado has so much diversity. It said it's a man of many uses. It does. It has gold, silver. It has uh, the sand dunes. It has the ski resorts. I mean, geez, you got beaches. You got, you got everything in Colorado. It's amazing. And so many people miss the beauty. They moved into car just to sit in Denver and look at the skyscrapers. You kidding me? But, you know, different different souls, different people. And that's what makes us unique. Father created all of us to have different types of uh, shoe sizes, different types of souls, different types of purposes, different types of roles. And that's what makes us special. So I hope you find that your, that your soul is what you need. And if you want to make a change, I'm sure the Father will support that. And say, you know, I kind of want to do something different. And... You know, and the Father and the Lord will guide you to that. Okay? All right. Love you all. God bless.